welcome to The Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Adriana Brizuela. We're here at the Mars Black Theater at PBS 39 Studios in Bethlehem. Today we have Chef Robert Weedmeyer of Marcel's in DC. Robert, nice to have you here. So glad to be here. Yeah, very excited. We have a beautiful kitchen today from Morris Black Designs, and I understand we're making some lamb. We are doing a lamb tenderloin that we're going to sear off here in a little bit, and then we're going to do a, a mushroom duxelle with sauteed spinach with garlic, and then we're going to wrap that in phyllo. Sounds delicious. Okay. So uh, the first thing I'm going to start doing is uh, is we're going to clean this lamb here. Okay. So one of the things you want to do with these lamb tenderloins, I'm actually using the tenderloins, which are underneath the saddle, not the loins on top. Sure. So they're a little bit more tender and they're, they're and smaller. And do they normally come this small? Yes, they're normally be about this small in any okay. type of uh, lamb. So this is lamb, but if you know if you were using veal or, or and beef. And you're just cleaning off some of the, the fat. silver skin. Silver skin. The right. silver skin. So we just take a little bit of that off, and then what we're going to do is we're going to season these with salt and pepper. Great. And we're going to sear these. Now we don't need to do a lot because I'm only going to do this one little dish here. This is a this is a dish that we've had on at Marcel's for a while, um, and uh, I've actually taken this dish around the country with me. Really? So uh, it's it's a lot of fun to cook. So Very we're just good. seasoning it with salt and pepper. Okay. Okay. Do you yeah. want to get the pepper going? If you can get the pepper for me, great. Sure. Go ahead and put it right on there. All right. You know, seasoning is such an important part of cooking. Yeah. You know, if you're not if you're not seasoning it, you know. It's really not going to taste as good as uh, you it like should. lots of pepper. Just the right balance. Okay, just, just the right balance. amount. Just the right amount. Right. Come on over here. So what you want to do with this is that silver skin on that you have to take off on this little bit of fat. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you just want to take the tip of your knife and just get that underneath that, and All then right. just slide that through there. Okay. You, you started kind of like, it for like me. Up. You're going to make me look good. Up. There you go. Oh, now, now go back the other way, and then you do the same thing again. Go All forward right. and then backwards. Can I work at your restaurant now? Yes, you can come down and work. We'll put <laughs> you to work. Very All little right. pay. Okay. Well, but you'll we'll, feed me though, right? We'll feed you. All right. And you'll learn something. Yes, I'm already learning a ton today. Can imagine being in the kitchen too. All well, right. you know, a lot of times, you know, being in the kitchen, people are like, oh, I want to come and work in the kitchen. And then they actually get in the kitchen, as you probably know. And uh -huh. they're like, oh my God, this is a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> we make you it know? look pretty easy. It's, 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 you know, it's like, you know, hard work. Right. You know, okay. You're, you're going around, you're, you're constantly you know, working and, and, and moving fast. Mm -hmm. There's no time to sit still like we are right now. <laughs> then what we're going to do after that is I'm going to move this over here. And we are going to take this and get this fairly hot. Because uh, what I want to do is just sear this because we're going to cool this down and so it's still raw inside. So it's not going to be fully cooked, right? No, we're just going to sear nice it. Nice sear, this color. So. And are we searing it in just olive oil? Just a or? little bit of clarified butter. Oh, clarified butter, great. A little bit of clarified butter. Oh, you can see it's a hot pan. It's already right, seizing so up a little bit. So we're going to get that just right about here, just a little bit, not much. Quick sear. Yeah, if you, if you go too long with it, because we're going to bake it in the oven, it'll be overcooked. You still want it to be medium rare. Medium in rare. In the restaurant, we tell the clients that this will be served medium yeah. rare. They want it longer than that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's just... Imagine you have to move quickly. I mean, those are smaller pieces, so... Right. Too they long, they, they don't take long. Right. They don't take long. Very good. So Thanks. once that's seared, we're just going to let these cool down, which is just about there. That was really fast. Yeah, very fast. <laughs> so in making this dish at the restaurant, it's all about mise en place. It's about having everything ready everything to go. Everything ready to go, Your right. mushrooms done, your spinach done, your lamb seared, your phyllo. So you can just knock out 50 of these and, you know, really quick. Sounds good to okay? me. So the I'm going to take these beautiful. off right now. Okay. We'll just let those cool here. Let that rest a okay? little bit. So we now we're going to do, we're going to do some garlic. Love garlic. Are you just going to do a rough chop? Or are you gonna yeah, mix? we're just, we're just going to just take the back of the chef's knife here. And we're going to smash these. Great. And we're going to chop these up very fine. So um, I understand you have a few other restaurants in D.C. I do. Could you tell us a little bit I about do. those while you're chopping the garlic? Well, Marcel's being my first one, which is on Pennsylvania Avenue, is named after my first son, just celebrated its 15 years. Oh, that's awesome. And then uh, my second one, named after my second son, Beck, on 1101 K Street, just celebrated its eighth year, I believe. That's great. And Beck's 11, so. We got it in there just in time <laughs> before he found out that he had a, his brother had a restaurant named after him. <laughs> um, so, chop the garlic. Okay. Okay. Smells good already. Yeah, you gotta love garlic, huh? Everyone. And then we're gonna take shallots. We're just gonna cut these. Nice little mince on those. Yep. I always like that trick. It's not a trick. Well, it is a trick to us that aren't working in the restaurant. It's the way to do it. 
And so are we going to saute these at all? Or? We are. We're going we're to saute these together right now, just, just like this, okay? Okay. So first we knock out the spinach. We take half of this, put it in here. We just let that sweat, what I call sweat a little bit. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we take our spinach, because we want this to cool down. We don't need a lot, just a little bit in here. Right, and spinach, is, it's, greens tend to cook down pretty Very fast. heavily, so yeah. And again, salt and pepper. You gotta have your salt and pepper. Everything's gotta be seasoned. I'll get the salt. Get the salt, get the salt there. Go ahead and just put that around. Beautiful, that's it, just All like right. that. Stay tuned for more from the Morris Black Theater. We're back with more from the Mars Black Theater. Now, is this going to be wrapped in the filo dough with this the This will land? be wrapped in the filo dough. What's important about this is that we don't want a lot of moisture in that because if we have too much moisture, it's going to make the make the dough a little bit a little soggy. soggy. So yeah. we don't want that. So that's all you're doing. That is just like this. Okay. Okay. That's another really quick step. And that's a quick step. We're going to just let that sit in there and cool down. Okay. So that's going to cool for us. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our mushrooms. And we're going to chop these up. Okay. Do you leave the stems on these? Well, we cut the if they, you know we cut the stems down. Okay. Um, you know we don't want a lot of the stems. So let's in we there. have what uh, port of uh, shiitake. What are these? Shiitakes, coral, coral mushrooms, oh, coral. and shiitakes. Okay. You can use what any mushrooms you want. Yeah. I mean, if you want to use, um, you know, any wild forest mushroom you get your hand on, mm -hmm. you can use. They're just any great mushroom at the market. Yeah, I love use. mushrooms. They're delicious. And then we're just going to saute them very, very quick. Okay. And more, some more clarified and butter. A little bit more clarified butter. Are you more butter. of a butter person than I like them the both. Olive, olive oil, oil, olive oil, and butter. Okay. I like sometimes I like to do both. You know, 50-50. Right. Um, it works well that way. Nice. So um, we know we've had you here before, but how are you enjoying cooking on in this kitchen? It's beautifully designed by the Mars Black you know what? designers. It's better than Steve's last one. That's for sure. <laughs> You yeah, know. it's beautiful. They've been in business for over a hundred years. Hundred years? Yes, and it, it's it's great. You think a hundred years old, it might be you know outdated, but they've got cutting edge innovation. I absolutely love the red pop of color. Um, so I would say it's a very attractive place. Yes, I love you it. Know? Isn't it great? Yeah, it's very nice, very very nice, and um, you know the setup here for cooking doing a cooking show is even nicer. Yeah, absolutely. They have everything. So we got our mushrooms now. We get all the stuff out that we don't need. Okay. We're gonna put our shallots and garlic in here and do the same thing. So you, you dust these down pretty fine. Yeah, very fine, because this is gonna be a compact little dish. Right. Um, it's, uh, again, just the lamb tenderloins, the spinach, and the mushrooms, and we're gonna do a little triangle. I'm and, curious uh, to see how we form that shape. Well, we're gonna have a little, dough is we're gonna have a little difficulty here today because the phyllo split, so okay. we're, we're gonna have to be a little more, more we'll creative. We'll make it work. But we will make it work. Okay. So, just let that cook a little bit. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to brown, but now we're going to throw in these mushrooms. Get them all in there. Yeah, we'll get the rest in here. We can add a little bit more butter if you want to do that. Just sure. drizzle that in there with the... There you go. Nothing like a little garlic and butter you can't and beat it. mushroom sauteing on the stove. You know, the thing about cooking is, you know, and this is when I go into a restaurant or when I'm going out someplace, I'm sure the same way, is that when you taste the food, if you don't taste love and passion in it, then it just tastes like, you know, not much. Absolutely. And I think that's, you know, what's great about cooking is, is being able to have that love of food. I and, couldn't and, agree and, more. And, and nurturing it. You know, it's just not throwing something in a pan. Yeah, so could you actually talk a little bit about that concept? I know something you're passionate about, the full circle chef. So yes. talk about what that concept is, what it means to you, how you run your restaurants. Well, I mean, we try at all the restaurants is to buy whole animals and whole, you know, whole fish. We don't bring anything fabricated down. Right. Um, so you, you butcher know, everything. You know, that way we, we butcher everything and we can, we can extract all the flavors from, from the bones, from the veal, mm -hmm. from the lamb, from the ducks, from right. the quail, from the pheasants. And we're pheasant. using homemade lamb stock today, so there's Absolutely. an example. Absolutely, that's it's homemade. So now, look, spinach, mushrooms, and now we have our lamb tenderloins over here that should be yes, cooled down now. they're cooled down. We seared those. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these a little bit. You probably asked me, why are you cutting those off? Yeah, why are you cutting those well, off? Well, because I'm going to use those at the restaurant. I would use those for raviolis. Okay. Okay. So, so you're just using the center for this filo. Yes, I'm just going to use these little pieces here. Where do these uh, baby carrots come into play? We're going to garnish those with that. Okay, very nice. Okay, so now we got we have it like this, okay? Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like a lot, does it? 
Looks like a little bit of you know lamb little, tenderloin it's cut a, up. It's, it's a tasting menu, so we do this on our tasting menu. So this would be like your your like final course. Or a little bit heavier your, than some of your, Before your cheese and your dessert and all that, you, this would be like your last little thing. Okay. Okay. Sounds like a nice way to end a meal. All right, now we're going to turn that off. Sure. And here's where we're going to have a little bit of fun. We got our working station over here. We got a working station here. We're going to take this and we're going to put a little bit of, of this Dijon mustard, this Ghent mustard actually from Belgium on here. Wow. Just a little bit. And what is Ghent mustard? It's a mustard from the, the city of Ghent, Belgium. Okay. My father's Belgian. Nice. So and that's I, the inspiration of a lot of your restaurants. Right. Right. So my dad, my dad was, you know, lived there for a long time, immigrated here, and then I worked in London. I'm not London. I worked in. Well, I did work in London, but I worked in the Netherlands. Then. All over worked the place. in Belgium. Yeah, that's a great experience. It was a very good experience. I got my butt kicked every day. <laughs> Stay tuned for more from the Morris Black Theater. We're back with more from the Morris Black Theater. I need my clarified butter. Normally, these, this filo would be a whole sheet, but since it's split on me, right. we're going to have to play with a little bit here. Okay. What we do is we just put the butter on here. All right, so slathering it in a nice layer of butter. Slathering it in a lot of butter, actually. Yes. Or you could use olive oil. Okay. So for those of you that go, oh my God, it's a lot of Too butter. Too much butter. No, you can never you know. have enough butter. So then I'm going to use two of these on here. Okay. It gives it a little more stability. Exactly. And that's, that's what we're, we're going to want. With yeah, this that's little. one thing when I'm working with Gila Dough is keeping like a wet, moist paper towel well, or something you, over top. Otherwise, that's. It dries out. It dries out. It and dries split. out. And this was, uh, this was okay though, because you know what? You can, you can work with it here like this. Yeah. Okay, so we want to get it fairly, you know, All right, buttered covered up. in butter, butter. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here is, is I'm going to fold this over. Mm hmm. Here's where the artistic part comes in. This is where, well, I don't know about artistic. <laughs> this is where, this is where, you know, the challenge is going to come in here. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to fold this over this way. I'm with you so far. Okay. I think I can do this much. And a little bit more. It's a little too big. Right about there. So I notice every step of the way, you're adding a little more butter every right. time you fold it, keeping it. Right, you want to keep it nice and moist. Right. Okay, so now we come over here, mm -hmm. we take these, we push these together, we take the mushrooms. I'm gonna need to like squeeze those mushrooms in that spinach a little bit to get some of the moisture out. Okay, yeah, we don't, again. Yeah, we don't need a lot. But you have to squeeze that out, otherwise it's gonna be, it's gonna be too wet. Kind of like if you bought frozen spinach at the store, it right. thaws out. It, it's kind of a shame. Normally we'll squeeze this and put this into some of the sauce, which is fine too, mm -hmm. uh, because you know, the, the sauce is great. All right, so you're just piling it on top of two little cuts. Right, and then we'll do the same thing with the mushrooms. Just gonna take a little bit right here. Just squeeze that, or just push lightly down on it. Put the mushrooms in here. So you said you took this dish all around the country? Yeah, we did this dish for a restaurant. Well, we did it in Anguilla with a very wow. famous chef by the name of Michel Rustang mm -hmm. from Paris. And I did the dish and then his chef de cuisine asked us if he could take it back to, to Paris with him. I said, really? sure. Really? Well, that's pretty cool. I said, cool. absolutely. What an honor. So it was nice. So then we're going to take it and bring it over here. All right, to our buttered filo dough. We're going to turn it this way. Okay, so you have three now, now, pieces going so in So you can kind of, you know, you know, play around with this. Like, you can squeeze it. You don't have to, like, be so gentle with the, with the lamb. Bring it around here. It's gonna start rolling. And then we're just gonna roll. And let's see, here we go. And I guess since the way the lamb stacked, that's what kind of gives it that triangle. Right, well, you're form. gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this. See this? We're gonna mold it. Okay. Forcing it a and little again, bit. And again, and again, don't be shy with your with your butter on yes. here. I guess you can't feel too guilty. If this is on the tasting menu, it's not like you're eating too much of exactly. the Exactly. Very nice. You made and, that look pretty and then, easy. And, well, you know what? I'd like to get a little bit more like that one there, and we're going to get it like that just by, by pushing on it. Okay. Okay. It's looking good. Actually, you can go straight from this right to the pan oh, okay. and then right so to the oven. Okay, so it's immediately ready. Okay, okay. and what we're going to do is just brown that a little bit more. Okay. And now we're going to go in the oven. 
then we're gonna take it out, we're gonna cut it, we're gonna put it on that plate, we're gonna sauce it with this sauce. All right, so how long will it be in the oven for? About eight minutes. Okay. This is at, uh, I think we set it at 325, so it won't take long. Okay. So are you, using, are you using a lot of, um, I know you're Belgian inspired in your restaurants, but are you using a lot of um, local ingredients in terms of fruits and vegetables you know, we or try garnishes? To, you know, we try to get as much as we can locally. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. not, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to be able to try to say and do that. Right. You can't get it all yeah, the time. Back burner there. You, you can't get it all the time, but you, you try to. I mean, there's sometimes you can't, you know, the big thing is, is local always better? Sometimes local's not better. Right. You know, that one's on. Oh, you got we got both on. All right, we're really okay, cooking. Okay, so we're just going to saute a few carrots in here. Okay. Those have already been blanched, so you just blanch those in salt and water and then cool them off real quick. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're going to season them with salt and pepper. So these are little baby, baby carrots. Little baby carrots. All right, I got the pepper. Is that good? That's good. All right. And then we're going to put that on this plate right here when it comes out. So is the sauce going to be more of under, laying underneath it, or are you going to top it with no, the sauce? No, I'm going to just drizzle around it with right. the sauce. So with the spoon, you can see where the sauce is. It looks delicious. So you don't want it too thick, and you don't want it too thin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you that's a very that? nice, really nice consistency. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it goes really well with it. Good stuff. Can't buy that in the store. No, you cannot buy that <laughs> in the store. But you can buy it at my butcher's block in Alexandria. Oh, yeah? It there. yeah? Oh, very you can't get good. Good to know. I made a note of that. Mm. Very good, I well, love that. Well, either, I need to try it. Now, the only thing about this now is we need a nice serrated knife, which I'm sure we have right here, perfect. Mm -hmm. So you sell that, you said? We do at the butcher's block. We'll sell that, right. we'll sell uh, veal gloss, lamb gloss, bird gloss. That's great. Because it's one of those things at home, you're not, it's, it takes a lot of time to make that. Absolutely. So if you can go to and buy that and put it, like you can cook it and then put it in a little, uh, 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 ice cube trays and put it in your freezer. That's such a smart then idea. Then when you want to make a dish for a bunch of people, you right, can you just pull it out. Pull it out. Mm -hmm. Great. So the carrots are cooking. Stay tuned for more from the Morris Black Theater. We're back with more from the Morris Black Theater. Let me see where we are. So what are you looking for to in, um, let us know it's done? Is it just you're just well, eyeballing you know, it? Well, it's, it's timing for me. I, I've okay. got everything timed in my head. Yeah. We're gonna go a little bit longer on here, just get this a little bit browner. Sure. Is that and then we're just gonna cut that right in half. Now I got a feeling that I like my lamb really rare right. to medium rare. I like medium rare also. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, I, I said if someone orders that well done, we really kind of try to steer them another way. Right. You know. Do you have other options if they're not? Well, we've got tons of okay. options. We'll do it. We'll just tell them if you want the lamb, we can take it out of the field and do it like this and grill it, and it'll be nice and beautiful okay. and not. Um, Sounds delicious. See, that's what you want right there. Nice temperature on the pan. Yeah, perfect right now. And then, then we'll finish these off in the oven. Okay. Okay, so you get it just like this. Mm -hmm. You have to have a really sharp serrated, serrated knife, okay? Knife. You're gonna just cut right through the middle of it. Serrated work, knife works well with the filo dough, right. cutting right through that. Okay, and then what we do, okay. and what we do is we lay this just That's like this. That's such a pretty color. And just like this. Now you can do this, or you can stand them up. Okay. I like to kind of like Depends that. on your mood in the moment. Right. And we got our little carrots here that are nice and caramelized. I love. I like a little color on them like that. That's good. You're watching those for me there? Yes, I just turned them. I actually think the pan could use a little butter. Okay, there you go. And now the last little bit of this to me is the sauce on everything. So sauce is very, very, very important. Stock. Now you don't want it to be too thick, you don't want it to be too thin. Now the longer you let it sit there, it'd probably get more thick, so you have right. to be careful. You just put a little bit of sauce on each end, like this. And lastly, I take a little bit of salt and just touch Finish the Finish it with a little salt, that's great. Voila, that's it. That looks beautiful. So that's our. So let me get these in the oven and then we'll take those over we'll, there. We'll take that up there and that's that's our lamb tenderloins wrapped in phyllo with spinach and garlic. Okay, so I think it's time to taste. I think it is. The beautiful. Take, you can you know, just take a knife there, just cut that right into there. You're going to have me taste this alone? Yes, I'm going to eat this other side with you. Okay. You're going to eat the carrot with it also? Yeah, I would just take it all first by itself, get a little bit of sauce on it. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. That lamb stock 
is kicker. I mean, the sauce with that and the carrot and the roasted carrot thing is really good together. It's so delicious. And you said this is on the menu at Marcel's. This is. Great. It's a signature dish at Marcel's. Come down and try it. Yeah, definitely we'll it's, have to um, come by. It's, um, when we take it off, people get mad. Really? Okay, yeah, so we, it's staying on there for a little while. For a little while. All right, well, I definitely look forward to coming down to Marcel's. Thank you so much, Chef Robert Weedmeyer. Awesome. We had a beautiful time in the Morris Black Design Kitchen. It and was. I really enjoyed learning. Good. About the good. lamb and And that's something you can do at home very easy. Now yes. that you know I did so Now that I know how to do it, it I'll impress right. my friends. Just make sure the filo is not split. Okay. And then you get I'll those work nice on it. triangles. All right, well, thank you so much. That was a lot of fun. Thanks yes. for having me. Great. It's always great to be here. For the viewer who is passionate about food and wine, the Chef's Kitchen provides tips and techniques from the country's most exclusive restaurants. Tune in next time to see one of the nation's top chefs such as George Perrier, Roberto Donna, Jose Garces, Michael Schlau, or Tony Clark as they share their culinary talents and unique creativity. Learn how to make the delectable dishes and hip creations they're serving in today's restaurants or impress your family with a culinary twist on tonight's dinner. Check our website for listings in your area or today's recipe.